So I will explain how you can enter to win these Kit Kats, but first, let's check out this awesome package that I got from Jadan. So I know many of you already know Jadan. That's Dan in Japan. Um, he's a fellow YouTuber who lives down in Osaka. Originally, he's from England. I'm sure many of you have watched a lot of my videos, and you know there are very interesting flavors of Pringles that are that are always coming out. But apparently there is also a regional flavor that's only available in Osaka. So he said, do you want, do you want me to send those to you? And I'm like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so sounds like Pringles. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's not, it's not just Pringles. We've got these uh, potato chips here. And this says these are Okonomiyaki chips. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with Okonomiyaki, there's a picture of it right there. Often people translate it as kind of a Japanese pancake or a Japanese pizza. Um, it's basically fried yakisoba noodles with a kind of, uh, I, I, I would say I would say it was an omelet maybe, but it's got this sort of egg, sort of batter kind of layer. It's got this sort of savory sauce. Basically, yaki is cooked, something cooked, and okonomi is kind of like as you like or something you like to cook. So yeah, thanks. We'll give those a try, okonomiyaki. And let's see, yes. So we got a pack of Pringles in here as well. These are all takoyaki flavor, okay? So again, takoyaki, there we go. There's a picture right there. Takoyaki translates, usually translates as octopus balls, okay? But they're not octopus balls, they're ball-shaped kind of like donut hole kind of things. They're not sweet though. Um, that's where the ball comes from and they are filled with chunks of octopus. And we also got a letter. Thanks for the support. Enjoy the Kansai chips. And he signed it with a picture. I'm guessing that's him. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, man. Let's give these a try. Now, I really like okonomiyaki. It's something I don't eat enough of, but we're gonna, well, there's, there, there are restaurants you can go to where they bring out the ingredients and you can actually cook it yourself. Not really a fan of that. I'd rather have someone professionally do it for me, but it is pretty tasty. So let's give these a try. But you can see they're kind of speckled. Hopefully, it, focus, focus. There you go, kind of speckled with little bits of this sort of uh, green, is it seaweed? I'm not quite sure, this green uh, topping. Wow, definitely it's focusing on the sauce flavor. In Japan, they just use the word sauce to describe a variety of sauces that look identical to that. They're kind of like a Worcester based sort of sauce, you know what I mean? A bit savory, um, not tomatoey at all. Um, just like a brown sauce, maybe? And I can imagine, in my mind, mayonnaise. I'm not sure if it's a placebo effect or not, but they do capture the flavor, the overall flavor, especially the sauce of okonomiyaki. If, you ever, if you've ever had okonomiyaki, that's the flavor I'm talking about. It was very good. Good recreation. So... Yeah, they're all just the same. Uh, takoyaki. So okonami yaki and takoyaki. I guess they kind of use a similar sort of brown sauce, but um, very different. This is filled with taco, which is the Japanese word. Focus, focus for octopus. It has a different smell than the okonami yaki chips. Sort of a more subdued sort of smell. But there's your typical Pringles, I guess. The size of the Pringles, I've been told, is a little smaller in Japan than it is elsewhere. But let's give this a try. It has quite a different flavor than the Okonomiyaki, despite having a sort of similar sauce, I guess. Maybe this sauce is not as strong as the Okonomiyaki sauce. So yeah, inside each one of the octopus balls, there's little chunks of like octopus tentacles and bits. Um, and that flavor is coming through quite strong. But you can see how they kind of have a similar 
sauce, mayonnaise. That pink stuff is ginger, and I'm tasting the ginger a lot more in this one than I am in this one. But the sauce flavor is coming through very strong in this one, and it's mostly the octopus flavor coming through in this one. Um, I like them both. I probably prefer the okonomiyaki just because I really like that sort of tangy sauce flavor. But this was also very fun to try and also kind of nailed the takoyaki flavor. So well done to Pringles and Kalbi. And also a big thank you to Jadan for sending these to me so that I could give them a try. As I discussed in one of my previous videos, maybe it was the one where I did the big giveaway. I'm going to try to switch to more kind of uh, smaller, more frequent kind of surprise giveaways, you know what I mean? That way if you consistently watch my channel, you'll be in on them more. So all you got to do to enter to win one of these um, orange Kit Kats, these are kind of cool because all I got to do is write your name here and throw them in the post and hopefully they'll make it to you. All you got to do is leave a comment down below. Um, it doesn't have to be like you don't have to advertise that we're doing a contest or anything. Just any comment will do. I'll just randomly choose from the comments there. I'm not going to go eat sushi. I'm not going to roll dice. It's, it's not that kind of thing. It's just a side giveaway. Um, so yeah, just leave a comment and I'll randomly choose someone from below. Then what you got to do is look in the next video that I release to see if your name appears in the description box. Then contact me on my social media and give me your address, okay? So that's all you got to do. I'm going to give away one of those down below right now. And also I'm going to put a link down there in the description box to send you over to Jadan's channel. Um, please go subscribe to his channel. Check out his videos. He's a really cool guy. The video I'm linking to, unfortunately it doesn't have anything to do with Pringles, but it's a video where he tried like half a dozen different um, Fanta flavors that are available here in Japan. So go check that out. Again, leave a comment down there. You can say that I sent you or just let them know what kind of uh, Fanta you like. And again, I'll randomly just choose someone from over there. So for the third one, the way that you can enter to win this, and hopefully a lot of you remember at the start of this year, I did a little project where I asked you to recommend some other YouTube channels. They don't have to be there or they didn't have to be like food related. They just had to be a channel that you thought would appreciate getting some, I guess, random Japanese snacks from me. I think we've seen videos from every single one of them and I've responded to all of them, I believe, except for one, okay? So I apologize for the delay. Maybe two or three months ago, there's a channel based in South Korea that somebody recommended and I apologize again. I can't remember who recommended it, but thanks for the recommendation. The channel is called is Xander, Xander from We Fancy. Yes, he, he has his own channel. Maybe some of you already know We Fancy in South Korea or Xander. Um, but I sent him a package thanks to your recommendation, and he did a review of a whole bunch of Japanese goodies, including some Kit Kats. So there's the tie-in right there, including some Kit Kats, not this flavor, but so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link down in the description to his uh, video where he tried the stuff that I sent him. Just leave a comment. You can say, you know, Critical sent me or just anything, just a nice comment. And again, just like I'll do for these other two, I will just check the comment section and I'll randomly choose somebody to be the third winner. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, I apologize to Xander for taking so long to get back to him on that, but things have just been busy and now that it's cool, we can finally send some Kit Kats. But yeah, definitely make sure you go and check out Jadan's channel in general. He recently moved from a very small town, I believe, um, closer to the, the big city. So he's in the process of moving right now. I'm not sure if he will upload a video soon or not, but definitely check out to see what's going on in his life. And if you do live in Osaka, maybe you may find his content to be that much more interesting or at least pertinent to you. So thanks a lot. Again, I'm gonna enjoy a few more of these and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Roll it!